has the latest. Jade Lee? Very good afternoon to you, Desiree, and to the viewers. Earlier on, we were talking about MEC for Education here in KwaZulu Natal Province, Kwazi Mshengu. In that meeting with stakeholders to try and um, you know find a solution to the impasse that is happening here at Mangosuthu University of Technology. I am joined by the MEC now, and he'll be talking to us about exactly what took place in that meeting. Thank you so much for joining us on SABC News, MEC. If you could just take us through some of the grievances that were laid by the representatives of the SRC, and also has there been any um, you know olive branch been extended what took place behind the scenes well uh, in the meeting we had uh, three stakeholders in a sense uh, it was the management the representatives of the labor as well as the representatives of students so because the issues affected the three the three parties as it were but with regard to students um, the the main issue is around the clearance uh, for, for students who want to register. Uh, they are alleging that uh, there is about 9,000 students, um, both uh, first-time students as, as well as returning students, who have not been cleared, yet the academic calendar is expected to resume on Monday. Uh, they are also raising the issue of uh, accommodation, uh, alleging that there are some residences that are, not in, that are in poor conditions, particularly those that have been leased from external uh, stakeholders. Then there's another litany of issues which uh, students acknowledge that those ones may require a, a detailed process going forward. They may not be resolved now, but uh, they are committed into a particular defined process of engagement. Um, among the unregistered uh, students uh, are those that are uh, holders of uh, NSFAS as well as external passaries, but they are hampered by what is called historical debt, and the university has not registered them because it has it, it reminded them of the fact that they are owing. And our view was that um, they, it's not really a difficult issue uh, to resolve because uh, these are students, uh, some of, in fact, the majority of them as per the students' uh, presentation are now in possession of letters to say you have, we have been awarded a bursary, we have been awarded NSFAS. And our view was that the university should treat that differently from someone uh, who has been in the university for three, four years, not performing well, but still owing, because others are also at an exit point. So it doesn't help the university either to, to bar those students from registering, yet they have funded yet they are at an exit point because what will happen at the end of the day if they are not registered they will have to go back home they will have no future and they will have no means even to repay what they are currently owing so what we agreed was a small committee that will compose of university rep SRC president and SG as well as colleagues from the premier's office who will then be facilitating uh, how best we can have these students cleared immediately uh, while also acknowledging uh, the historical debt that they are owing. And we have given that uh, committee to work from today and over the weekend with the hope that they can clarify those issues such that on Monday there can be an easy start of the academic year. But we have also said to the university, in case this process is not completed this weekend, the university will need to consider at least extending or postponing the, the, start, of the, the, the start of the academic uh, uh, year with about a few days so that we really complete this process. Uh, and we believe that uh, with the commitment that has been shown by the student as well as the management, us from government will be able to find lasting solutions. Now, MEC, on a separate matter, there's also that labor, the labor issue with um, the staffers. Has that also been addressed in this meeting? We have also addressed the issues of labor, but uh, we agree that uh, our intervention uh, was not seeking to replace the collective bargaining as legislated by law. Uh, ours was to make sure that the parties don't avoid each other. They come closer, they come back to the table for further engagement because the issues that Labour is raising are issues that are in the domain of collective bargaining. The issues of salary increases as well as housing allowance. But what we had to secure was the management's commitment in the main to say they're going to go back to the negotiating table because the Labour was complaining that you are running away from us and you are not giving us responses. So in a meeting we've also agreed that both the management and the Labour are going, going, are going back to the negotiating table. But we'll also have to speak to the council uh, chair to say the council must then rate at any time to to assist the the executive in resolving these issues because there are matters that uh, require 
decision of cabinet, I mean of not of cabinet, of council, university council, and uh, those decisions will have to be taken immediately. And I will be engaging with the, with the, with the chair of council uh, during the course of the day, also to impress upon uh, council to say they need to come closer to assist the process. But also we'll be monitoring it on daily basis to see if there's progress that is being made. Let me see the SABC will try and speak to the SRC, but at that uh, meeting, I just want to make sure that there has been some sort of an agreement with regards to this now. There is an agreement with regard to the process, uh, and that all the issues that are raised by the students will then be subjected to that process. The, uh, the SRC has agreed to be part of this small committee. The university has agreed. We are, we are going to second colleagues from the Premier's office to help facilitate. Uh, so there's, there's, no, there's no dispute around that. And then all these issues will then be subjected to that particular process. And soon we'll then have to convene the same meeting again to receive a report back from the small team. Thank you so much for joining us on SBC News, so MEC. Thank you. That was MEC for Education in the Province, Kwasi Mshenko. Just detailing what happened in that meeting and also saying that there was an agreement that has been reached thus far with SRC and with the student representatives as well as management to try and, um, you know, f try and meet together and try and resolve this impasse that's currently taking place at Mangasutu University of Technology. They will be meeting again, the, S the MEC is saying there. I'm just going to ask Ray if you can just walk with me and show you viewers back at home that the students are inside the university. They seem to be going to have a meeting there shortly. We'll try and see if we can't get the SRC spokesperson or chairperson to talk to us and just see how they feel about this and whether the universities will remain closed. How long? We did hear from Sinaro Tengwa who was saying that if the agreement, if they're not happy with the agreement, they will continue with their protest, but we'll try and see what they say and see if there was a meeting of minds at that meeting. It's back to you, Mr. And with that, it's back.